Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome to Millbridge Speedway. A beautiful day here as we kick off the debut night for the brand new Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. You know the names around here at Millbridge Speedway. That is Gavin Bochelle. Curb Records on the side, the young man from Morrisville, North Carolina. Top of the speed chart, and there goes Gavin Bochelle, even quicker, 10 0 5 2. Fastest here for DMI Heat Ford. Going green here at Millbridge, and we are underway. Three wide down the back straightaways. Nick Drake looks like he will lead lap number one. It looks like the five of Bochelle right on his rear bumper. So Gavin Bochelle putting on a show in that number five curb records entry. As we set to make history here with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get dirty here at Millbridge Speedway. And the leader gets up into the fence. Wiedemann to the inside. The Earth Dog 01 to the point. Nine laps to go. Gavin Bochelle again. Oh, contact! Bochelle into the back bumper, and everybody gets stacked up over in turns three and four. Contact right there between Bochelle and Wiedemann. So, new leader, the five of Gavin Bochelle. Three lap dash here at Millbridge. Another great start for Gavin Bochelle. We are back underway out of Morrisville, North Carolina. Down the back straightaway, works his way through turns three and four. He will make history as he wins the first ever Street Outlaw Midget Series event here at Millbridge. The first ever winner with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, climbing out of car number five. Gavin Bochelle gets it done here at Millbridge. Oh, it's definitely pretty cool. It's a really cool one in my home track, Millbridge, where I grew up at. You know, uh, these KKM guys gave me a great car, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ask for any better, but I didn't mean to get in the Bryant there. You know, I uh, felt bad, but uh, I think he got a little in the rut, and I hit him, but just a racing deal. But, uh, Definitely apologize to him, but you know, I can't thank these guys enough to get the car out here, you know, it feels good. All right, well, we get to do this again tomorrow. Do you think you can repeat? I'm gonna try. Welcome back to Millbridge Speedway for night two of the Double Down Showdown here with the Extreme Outlaw Midget Series presented by Toyota. And last night's winner on the racetrack from Morrisville, the Curb Records. Keith Coon, Curb Agajani, and car number five, Gavin Bochelle. Bochelle. Much like he did last night, bouncing off the wall as Gordon looks his way. There's a good look at the five car. Working through turns three and four. He was on the fence. Bochelle goes quick time here in heat four. Nine, nine, one, two. And even quicker on his last lap. Gavin Bochelle, nine, seven, 68. JJ lost Gavin Bochelle and Brandon Crouch going at it for the first spot. Bochelle around the outside will take it. Bochelle once again to the inside and turn number three. Nice little slider by the winner last night here in Millbridge. Bochelle getting it done, moves up to second. The most beautiful sight in all the motorsports, Millbridge Speedway. You want them the best, you got them for a brass. So let them hear you as it's time to go racing here in the Tar Hill State. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are, your Extreme Outlaw Midget Series presented by Toyota. Cannon McIntosh has got Gavin Bochelle on his rear bumper. The race is for the lead, four laps to go. Big slide job for last night's winner, Bochelle. He bounces off the wall, makes it stick. McIntosh gonna try it again. Bochelle slows up, lets him by. Again, oh, big trouble for the five. Bochelle hits the wall hard in turn number three. A monster hit for Gavin Bochelle, ladies and gentlemen, but he is climbing up out of the race car. What a drive. What a show he put on here tonight. Him and Cannon McIntosh going at it for the lead and was oh so close to sweeping here in Millbridge. Well, I definitely feel really good, you know, especially if you race like ours on this weekend. Um, definitely a big car on this weekend. Definitely did what I expected, but, uh, you know, Cannon didn't want to race. Just got a little tight, tipped it over, but um, on to the next one, but I can't thank all these guys enough. Pete, Pete, Bo, all these guys take in, they gave me a great car, and, you know, I couldn't think of